What is up Zombie Nation, it's your boy Dame and it is that time you have all been waiting for. Yes, we have some early access gameplay of the brand new Zombies map, The Darkest Shore. So, before we get into the video, if you could go down there and leave a like rating, that would be absolutely awesome. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new around here, don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified of exactly of when I upload. Don't forget to check the box where it says be notified of all my uploads. Otherwise, you won't be notified of all my uploads. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Activision and Sledgehammer Games for giving me the opportunity to actually capture some of this awesome gameplay. Yes, homies, the map is pretty lit litty litty it is a very very cool indeed so let's chat and without further ado let's get straight into that video the darkest shore the darkest shore follows our heroes into the next chapter of their dangerous journey only days after the horrific disaster in middleburg the crew have received intel that suggests dr straub is on an island just north of Germany. Blanketed in fog, this island is surrounded by Nazi air and sea power and crawling with the undead. Marie, Droysten, Olivia and Jefferson will need to battle all this and more to uncover the mysteries hidden within the darkest shore. Sounds like an awesome description if I don't say so myself. So the darkest shore, you're going to spawn on a beach yes this is not around the base you're actually gonna have to destroy all the zombies before you progress and on this beach you're also going to have a torah to destroy all these zombies you get a pretty big wave and like i said it's not classed as round one yet it's technically round zero it is only then after you have killed the last zombie you could then progress into the map this map has a lot of tight corridors although there are some open areas within this actual map not only that, we have a transportation system. Yes, the rail carts. Within different locations on the map, there are rail carts that you can get into, which will transport you from A to B. I believe there are three different rail cart locations, but it's not as easy as just sitting on a rail car and getting to your first destination. No, because you will be met by bomber zombies and there are about six to ten of these in a lane so if you don't kill at least one of them they are going to down you pretty darn quickly so you want to make sure you have a full shield and full health before you enter one of these mine cars now the actual bomber zombies are not there every single time it's usually only on the first trip to each destination just like when you open the salt door on the final right you get your first lot of bomber zombies like i said it's a very tight map but there are some open areas one being example is the spawn area of the beach very open area if you're quick enough you can train your zombies up jump onto the turret gun and take them all out i expect this is going to be a very high range strat though i wasn't able to tell myself i only got to round nine or ten i believe didn't die once just saves my zombie because i really wanted to investigate the map perks there are no new perks in the map themselves. I did have a very good scout around to see if we could find anything new and there wasn't anything new at all. Whether there are other perks in for including easter eggs or any such, I have no idea. And I can confirm no major easter egg steps were actually found at the early capture event in the UK. So you have no worries there, we are all on same levels for completing the main easter egg it doesn't feel like there's going to be a casual easter egg there were no prompts on screen for a casual easter egg i am very very thankful for this i could be wrong there could be more that adds to the game within the future of the game by what i mean is more progression but there were no on-screen prompts telling us what to do and by pressing the select button wouldn't actually show you anything either which is pretty good because i think that was a big letdown for the final reich was the fact you had a casual easter egg which was basically the hardcore easter egg apart from yeah you see what i'm saying is like exactly the same thing so i think that is an amazing thing they've done with this map but again i cannot confirm this as we didn't really uncover that much in the actual map itself we also got to use the buzzsaw the buzzsaw is a very very easy to find and build not really east egg related as far as i can tell right now it is a very fun weapon to use and it does kill zombies pretty darn quickly though just like the shovel it's going to be one of those weapons you don't want to be spending 
too much time killing zombies when there's a lot of them around. Not only that, it doesn't take a weapon slot either. You can actually put it in your slot like the Barbaros's sword or your shovel. So you're always going to have it. We were also met with the brand new boss a zombie. He is a freaking beast. No, he's not going to shoot flames at you but basically put you in that red screen with one hit. He will have you begging for forgiveness pretty quick. He's quite quick. He will climb the walls and disappear for a second. Then he will reappear. It seems like he is meant to appear in the fog, but I kind of got this guy downstairs in one of the docking areas, which again is one of the other big areas in the map. Uh, and I didn't really get any fog, though I was met with fog and trust me, Yes, it's foggy. You cannot see two foot in front of your face. But hell mirror, there is not a lot of fog on this map. It seems to only come in for a couple of minutes of time on certain rounds. So it's not going to be foggy the whole time. There is a light mist across the map, but nothing major, nothing major. The map is pretty darn clear. I don't know what we were worried about. There's not a lot of fog indeed. Though when it does roll in, yes, when the fog rolls in, it rolls in it rolls in thick and thin and i believe when the fog does roll in is when the new boss zombie is meant to come out which makes everything even harder now like i said no major easter egg steps were found whatsoever so don't panic about that though pack a punch was open but i think you find that pack a punch is very very easy to open and let me tell you if you thought buying your ammo from pack a punch was the best thing to happen to zombies wait until you see the location of pack a punch because that is the last place you're going to want to go when you're on round 30 with a train of zombies to buy your ammo it is very very tight and crazy it's basically a dead end lane that you're gonna have to run down to buy your ammo then run back up before the zombies manage to pile down there because if they pile down there you are not getting back out as for other zombies we have the regular zombies we also have the wustlings are back as well but like i said the buzzsaw will kill the wustling pretty damn quick you can stand in front of wustling with a buzzsaw strike him about four or five times he won't even hit you because he goes into an animation of like he's getting hurt so you can basically go face on face with a wustling hit him three or four times and he's dead which is absolutely perfect again this was on lower rounds so the health does increase on the wustlings but for me round nine round ten he was getting destroyed pretty quickly pests are back as well and the pests are you know they're they're pesty they're pests which is odd because the map seems like it's very cold and uh it's too cold for flies i think for the casual player setting up on this map is going to be a very very easy there are a few new guns on the walls one of which i will be making a video on very very soon i think you're going to be very interested in that of course the embargo dropped for this gameplay footage at 11 p.m GMT, which I believe is seven hours before the actual release date of the DLC itself. So by the time you're watching this video, you're probably already in the progress of downloading or I expect even playing the actual map itself. Do I think this map is better than the final Reich? We only had about an hour, hour and 30 minutes to play the map. Yes, maybe because it's a brand new map, I'm not sure, but I really do feel more engorged in this map than I do the final Reich. As for replayability, I have no idea. I haven't had long enough to play the map yet. It depends what the main Easter egg is like. If it's a replayable Easter egg, then yes, of course, the replayability is gonna be cool. There are a lot of undiscovered features in this map at the minute the bomber zombies are back as well i forgot to mention that the bomber zombies are back it's basically all the same zombies apart from the brenner and instead of the brenner it's the new guy that's basically spider-man that climbs up the walls and nada nada but anyway homies that is enough of me waffling on i would like to give a huge shout out again to activision i hope you all enjoy the gameplay footage i'm going to restart it again from the beginning i'm only allowed to show you 10 minutes of the actual footage itself so i'm going to restart it with the actual sound so you can get a good feel and see of the map i'll try and add in the best bits of footage i can i'm not allowed to show you anything that we thought was an easter egg so i can't add anything like that in again not, not like anything major was found whatsoever so homies i hope you do enjoy the rest of the video please let me know in the comment box down below after the video what you thought of it if you enjoyed it and if you can't wait to play but homies you've been absolutely awesome don't forget to leave a like on the video and until the next one this is your boy dame animal
I thought Middleburg hadn't prepared me for anything. Somebody remove this bastard's head.
Ooh! 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 